Well, Note 10, Black Mass opens this weekend, a new movie about notorious gangster Whitey Bulger. Moviegoers will see how a Tulsa murder helped convict the longtime criminal. Two Works View reporter Nathan Edwards spoke with a detective who spent his entire career working this case. From Chopper 2, we could see more. Police had already blocked off the parking lot. Roger Wheeler's body still lay inside his car. May 27, 1981, Southern Hills Golf Course in South Tulsa. Businessman Roger Wheeler executed in the parking lot. We kind of felt that, you know, we were in for something very different. Detective Mike Huff, 26 at the time, remembers getting the call. You know, I, I was young and naive and, and had no vision as to where this would take me. Roger Wheeler owned a gambling enterprise that Whitey Bulger was skimming money from. When Wheeler found out, Whitey ordered the hit. Number one, I thought it was brazen. Number two, I, you know, he as a target really had such a, a broad range of possibilities as to which direction we, we would go. Huff spent decades flying thousands of miles conducting interviews, trying to solve this case. Everybody was so paranoid to talk about Whitey. Years of investigating led them to multiple arrests, but Bulger still hasn't set foot in a Tulsa County courtroom. We still have an open murder warrant that people don't, uh, don't realize. Bulger is locked up for life, but his story is breathing new life on the big screen. He's a very smart, disciplined man. In the film Black Mass, Johnny Depp plays Whitey Bulger. I hope he's not glorified. I hope uh, it portrays him for the evil, rotten guy <laughs> that he is. Huff plans to see the movie, which includes a scene depicting the murder of Roger Wheeler. But like I say, it's a complicated story. I don't know how they can tell that story in a two-hour movie. Now retired, Huff stays in touch with the key players in this case, remaining close with the Wheeler family. An imprisoned gangster, oddly enough, sends him a Christmas card every year. But he has yet to meet the man he spent his career chasing. You know, maybe someday I'll visit him in prison or, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Nathan joins us now. That's just incredible stuff. He said he actually wants to go see. Did he say what he wants to, to say to him? Well, he said he wants to sit down and pick his brain and see why he ordered a hit on Roger Wheeler. But as he said, Whitey Bulger was a notorious liar, and he wouldn't expect any less if he was sitting down across the table from him. That's interesting stuff. All right, Nathan, thanks. Well,